Opening day, 2019 Breckenridge. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> A couple tips you want to keep in mind if you're coming to Breckenridge this season. Non-peak parking is $6 and peak parking is $14. They consider Friday, Saturday, and Sunday peak parking. So you're paying $14 for just a small section of the mountain to be open if you come on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. by ourselves on a chairlift by ourselves by ourselves yeah, boy. <laughs> I just can't <laughs> believe we're by ourselves on opening day you want to come with buddies because there's typically longer lines today's not so bad because this year they have a lot of the mountain open so there's really not much of a wait Saturday and Sunday be aware that you're gonna probably have longer lines than you are on a weekday I ate a banana for breakfast yeah nice. I ate nothing for breakfast I had coffee and he just had some kind of Red Bull drink what yeah. was that? Rain. Rain. He made, he made it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. We're good, we're good. So who hit who? You're going this way, Jonathan's going, Sean's right behind, and I'm following. It's clear I'm recording you guys. She tries to snake right in the middle. Oh! So whoever's uphill does not have right away. The person down below you always has right away, even if they're holding a GoPro. I ate a waffle for breakfast because Brett gave it to me for free. Opening day, let's go! Sean, what do you think, man? I think the lines have gotten a lot longer. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But it is a beautiful day. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, have fun. Dude, we've got Bluebird Day. Nice, nice firm, or not too firm conditions. It's softening up a lot. And look at this, man. What a view. And the lines aren't that bad for opening day. Unbelievable. Opening day 2019. Yeah, snap into a slip gym. things about Vail is that they offer the epic pass you can see sign up for the epic mix you can get photos with your friends family and it tracks your stats and it's nice to see them out on opening day doing the epic mix pictures already copper put in the most insane early season train park I think ever so that'll be really sick and you'll see that on a top to bottom speaking of top to bottoms we're about to do those right now and to see that top to bottom go over to my buddy Jonathan Buckhouse's channel linked in the description
what it's all about, everyone. Going out, enjoying the crowds, having fun with your friends. Another opening day down, a few more to come. Appreciate it. Got myself a warning because I completely forgot to pay for parking. Going up the gondola in such excitement trying to get those waffles. Luckily it is a warning. Supposedly they'll give you up to two warnings. There's a lot of yellow tickets out here right now or yellow warnings out in the parking lot that I've seen. So make sure you uh, pay attention to what day you're going and pay attention to if you've paid. You can pay at the kiosk or you can pay on an app on your phone. It's called Passport. Definitely worth getting. And that's it for opening day. Breckenridge has quite a bit of terrain open. It's all based around peak eight. It's not open all the way to the top yet, but if we get some more snow, I could see them opening quite a bit of more of the mountain pretty quickly. So if you're coming up during the week, it's probably not gonna be very crowded. The lift lines take a few minutes, but it's uh, there's enough open that we're spread out so it's not too bad it's been a pretty good opening for everybody this year there's been all kinds of records broken i think keystone broke its record amount of snow in october i think it was 48 inches steamboat opens record opening next friday the 15th i'm gonna try to go do that video if you guys do enjoy the snowboarding content let me know in the comments below because i don't fill the channel just with this if you're new here the channel is more about action cameras drones and how to use them here in the mountains, as well as for an action lifestyle, like snowboarding. So a lot of tutorials to come, a lot of how-tos, and a lot of things to hopefully show you life through the lens. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon right over there so you don't miss upcoming content. I have the GoPro 8, GoPro Max, some new stuff from Insta360, and the Skydio 2 drone, which is mind-blowing, coming soon. Thanks again, everyone.